Hello YouTubers, it's Das Gregor. I'm coming at you with Kino, with Gentoo, and my digital camcorder. I've been trying very much to get this to work with a webcam, but I've just come to the conclusion that webcams just don't work right, right now, with Linux. I know it's not because the system is too new, and that the webcam is too new of software because it's using the old UVC uh, video uh, module and I've used that with many other webcams before with no issues. I think the problem lies that there just isn't good enough software out there for video capture with your webcam. Case in point, Cheese is one that I know of that works well in GNOME but seems to be a little flaky when you try to use it inside of uh, KDE. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes it freezes and does all kinds of system issues. I thank one of my subscribers for bringing up Kden Live. I installed it and I've been trying it out. And it seems to be promising. However, in regards to the webcam capture, uh, it has a long way to go, and I have not found very good support anywhere on the network or internet on how to use it uh, effectively. However, the screen capture portion of the recording and also the um, firewire portion seems to work very well. However, I've been very comfortable in using Kino, and so I think for now, until I can find another solution, I'll stick with Kino with my web or my digital camcorder. On another note, please don't be frightened. All my hair fell out. Yes, I know. It's a scary thing to see me right now, feeling like a bald cue ball. But I thought I'd try something different. I haven't had my beard off for I don't know how long, at least a year or more. And I thought I'd shave it off and see how ugly I, my face had become. Unfortunately, uh, I think it's become so ugly, I think I need to grow it back again to hide, to hide it. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying out four different flavors of, of Linux right now on my DV8T. I have Gen 2 using kernel 2.6.33. And I've got Fedora and Kubuntu installed with their latest, uh, more stable kernels. And I'm also using Arch Linux, as another subscriber asked if I would try that out, since it's very f similar to Gentoo. I've been able to get uh, at least some form of 3D, or I should say at least 1920 by 1080 resolution, in all four of these uh, flavors. And for the most part, 85% or so of the machine works really well. Um, I'm very partial to Gen 2 because I'm more familiar with it, but I've been very impressed with Kubuntu and how the ease of use, the package structure, getting things to work very quickly, and just the overall appeal of it. Uh, I can understand why there are so many fans out there for Ubuntu and the other flavors of it. Uh, they have really taken some time to do a very good job. Fedora, I was pleasantly surprised, um, worked very well right out of the installation. However, they still haven't done much to help with installing it. I remember working with Red Hat many, many years ago before I gave up with them. And it always seemed like Red Hat took forever to install onto a computer. And then there wasn't much there. You still ended up having to download all of these packages then to make it work. Fedora... Uh, there's some of that still there. I, I think it's silly how it, the developers have said that, oh, we're, 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 we're not going to add these packages in there because there might be a conflict or there might be an issue down the road. You know, just do it. Put it in there. Make it easier for us. If there's a legal issue later on, we'll deal with it then. You know, one of my biggest gripes with Red Hat back in the early days was it never shipped with MP3 support. It's like, come on, that's a standard. Everything should have MP3 support. Now, 
And I should say, I'm not a purist when it comes to my, my hardware and stuff. I use the uh, proprietary NVIDIA drivers, and I know that taints the kernel. But hey, you know what? It makes it work. And if it makes it work, who cares? I've been following a new driver that's out there. Um, I hope I say it right. It sounds like they're spelled Nouveau or Nouveau. Uh, N-O-U-V-E-A-U. I've had to spell that word so many times that it's uh, yeah, very easy to remember now. Uh, difficult in the beginning. It is a completely open source driver for the NVIDIA chipsets. It will give you up to 1920 by 1080 resolution, at least on my uh, GT230 um, NVIDIA chip. Uh, however, there isn't 3D support, and if you read the forums, you'll find out that there may never be 3D support with Nouveau. Uh, they just either can't get it, or it's too proprietary and they can't figure it out. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but it's definitely getting there, but not quite there. One weird thing, Fedora, Kubuntu, they have Nuvo, so I'm able to test it in those distributions, and the, it, it works great. It looks good, you just don't have 3D. Even the Xorg seems to work fine. However, in Gentoo and Arch, I've attempted to install Nuvo, uh, because recently NVIDIA has dropped their support of their latest beta files, the 195.3603, which actually fixed a lot of weird issues that I was having with their driver. Um, but later they found out that there should be some overheating issues with the GPU and some other issue, um, issues that could break the machine. Thank goodness they dropped it and they sent out all kinds of warnings for distributions to get rid of those files. And I had to drop back down to the 190.53 um, drivers, which brings back the problems I had before in regards to the issue with um, whenever you go outside of the Xorg, everything kind of goes funky and shaky and blurry, and I think it's a frequency issue or, or a hertz issue. It's like it's it's not the right um, 60 hertz cycle or 60 cycle or 50 cycle, whatever it's supposed to be running at, and everything's shaky and fuzzy, and until you reboot, there's nothing you can do. I've tried removing modules and reloading modules and getting that to work, but none of that seems to, to help. So, what can you do? Like I said, I'm testing Arch and Gen2 with the NVIDIA proprietary drivers and Fedora and Kubuntu with the Nouveau. Both seem to, to give me what I want for right now. As long as I don't want 3D support in Fedora or Kubuntu, I'm alright. As long as I don't mind not going outside of the GUI yeah, at least, you know, after I've started it, then then I'm fine with that too. Which is kind of difficult because the nice thing about Gen 2 and, and, and Arch is you can go back to the console and do so much at the console. And, you know, I, I've kind of grown used to using the console a lot more than, than the other items. So, that's what I wanted to talk about today was mostly the NVIDIA issues and the fact of what four flavors I'm currently testing. I did have a question to those out there. Um, I'm wondering if you guys have a flavor of Linux that's stable, cutting edge, meaning that it has the newest, latest and greatest kernels that are well packaged, well built. You know, I don't mind building my kernel with Gen 2 but sometimes it's nice just to have a decent kernel that just works right. That I don't have to go through and figure out all these little things in there. It's great to, co to configure it and really uh, structure it once you know how it should look. But I get tired of doing it in every single flavor over and over and over again. And so I'm looking for something with the newest kernel because I've got to have that for the 6200 uh, Intel Centrino wireless that I have. Um, I really would like to either get Nouveau working better, because I can deal without the 3D support for now, or I hope that NVIDIA comes out with a new driver soon that will fix their, their frequency issue between switching from console to GUI. Uh, so I, I need that for the kernel. Um, I would love it if I could find something that would make my webcam work better on the system. It is so frustrating 
when you've got a camera built into it, into your system, and you can't do anything because half the time it either doesn't work or it acts. I mean, I've got a, I've got an Intel Core Seven in here. You know, Gen Two and all the others, they see this thing as having eight processors. You know, 1.6 gigahertz Intel. It's the um, i Core Seven. 720, I know it's the low end, but I walk on spending our $400 just to go up to an 820. I mean, this thing is powerful. It should be able to do a lot more, and I feel like Linux just isn't being able to use that, that uh, ability just yet. It is nice, though. I used to have to build my Gen 2 box, and it would take three or four days of continuous 24-7 compiling. Um... But with the new system, I can pretty much build from scratch to finish with KDE and the Xorg and everything running. Oh, in a day, maybe 24 to 30 hours. It is awesome on the speed for compiling. And I tell you, sometimes I'll watch those, those files just flashing by as it's compiling. And it's installing them just as fast as uh, Fedora or any of the others. Downloading it from the internet, the package, and installing it. You know, as quickly as it grabs it, compiles it, and puts it out there. So, like I said, getting back to my question, you know, what flavor of Linux do you suggest, do you think, you know, like I said, I'm using Arch, Fedora, Kubuntu, Gen 2, um, Debian I haven't really gotten into because I've never been impressed with, with laying, the way it lays down, um, and Slackware, I haven't gotten back into that. I should try. I did try their latest beta, and it just blew up, and I didn't have time to figure it out, so I just decided I'd go on to the next flavor. And someone had mentioned Arch, so I'm looking at Arch Linux. Um, I'm trying to think of any others that, that I might have looked at, but I think those are the biggest ones at this time. So tell me what you think. I'll go from there, we'll see what we can do. And thanks for all those suggestions that you guys have been sending me. I really appreciate them, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.